pick up coffees and now we're final boarding. So just hustling. And we made it to Wyoming. We flew into Jackson Hole, so we just picked up the vans from Motera, and now we're headed into the town to stop at Target, get a coffee, and get up to Yellowstone. Here's the thing, I packed, I feel like for an Arctic trip, and then I got here and I'm sweating in a sweatshirt. So I may be buying some shorts and possibly a swimsuit. We will see. All right, crew, prepare for takeoff. Copy that. Uh, let's uh, settle in there. We will prepare our descent here. Uh, about 10 minutes from Jackson Hole. Uh, gonna go to the target, maybe get some coffee. I don't know. We'll see how the day ends. Sky's clear for the taking. <laughs> I can't, I never know what to say. It is already so stunning here. We went to the downtown. I grabbed a coffee because I was very exhausted. And look how cute this cup is. So now we're beginning our trek because we're in Jackson Hole right now to go up to Yellowstone. We're staying at an RV park tonight and it will be our first night in the van. I'm actually so excited, even from just checking in. The van exceeded expectations. It's so cute. I can't wait to give you the full tour. And while we were flying in, it was a huge cloud, but then we were like, oh, I wish we could just see all the mountains with blue sky. Literally 10 minutes later, the whole sky cracked open and it was so blue. So I've enjoyed seeing that, the fall leaves, the cute little downtown, and I honestly just can't wait for the rest of this trip. We did already see a moose, which was pretty cool. He was really far away though, so couldn't catch him on film. We're hoping to spot some more, and fingers crossed a little bit closer, but also a safe distance. What are you holding? I think the bears are gonna come steal him because they're gonna think we kidnapped their cub. <laughs> about two hours of driving we finally made it here we're at fishing bridge rv park and i honestly didn't know what to expect because i've never been to an rv park before and this one's really nice they have showers and they have toilets <laughs> showers toilets a little information center and a gas station and after literally an hour of driving and seeing no gas station that is a comfort and apparently it is very aggressive bear season right now yes so our camper has like a pop top on it which I was excited to use but they were like absolutely no canvas anything because it all has to be hard-sided or it will attract bears so as much as I want to see a bear I don't want a bear to come to me while I'm sleeping so we will not be popping that up tonight it's much less of a tight squeeze in here because we popped this up and I can't believe how tall it is but we're both trying to manage with our big suitcases on the floor and I'm not gonna lie it's it's been uh, close quarters. <laughs> this is me. I'm like, whoa. I'm putting my PJs on, which is basically just sweatpants and a sweatshirt again. So we are now getting cozy. And the more that it gets into the night, the colder that I get. I can't believe I was saying that it was kind of warm earlier because I'm chilly girl. And Josh is setting up our stuff. Is it chairs? Josh is setting up our table and chairs in the dark. But this van company, Motera, is literally the best every single thing I could have thought of that I would want they have here table chairs little grill to go coffee mugs a french press a kettle like everything is so well thought out that 
I just can't. I'm so happy. I can't believe this is my first like camping trip and I'm just having so much fun already even though I am a chili girl. And this is kind of passenger princess of Josh doing the work. Do you need help? Hopefully not. You're doing amazing. We're making a gourmet dinner. Only the best at this five star camper van, PB and J. This is the best peanut butter I've ever had in my entire life. Trent did ask for the recipe. <laughs> went and reparked our van. Now we're at this little lookout spot and it just kind of looks over the water, but we're gonna make breakfast. I think like pancakes, bacon, all of that stuff, but more inside the van because it is snowing outside. <laughs> These are called snow cakes. It's actually just a teaspoon of snow. So it has been snowing, it's now changed to rain, and it's pretty gloomy outside, so we're switching the vision to a moody fall day. I really like my outfit today. It's some overalls and a sweater and a beanie. I'll show you more of that once we're like out of the van. But we just finished up with breakfast. We're going back to our campsite to have a little refresh. I need to wash my face, brush my teeth, everything. And then we're hitting a bunch of the popular spots up here in Yellowstone. We're excited. We're very excited. <laughs> Have you seen that? Our first bison. We're now at our next stop, which is the Grand Prismatic Springs, and this was a top recommended one. I think it's, I don't know, what is it? A spring? It's like a geyser type thing, but yes. it's just very colorful, apparently. So there's a lot of people parked here. It's obviously a main attraction, and we are passing it, so we thought, why not stop? So we're about to head out of our van, go check it out. Um, we did have sandwiches that Rain made us, so we're feeling good, we're full, and we're ready to take on the day.
checking on Josh again to see what the progress is. There's fire. There is? On this side. Oh, nice. You could go on Survivor. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, just a little below. This campsite that we're at is so freaking pretty. I love it so much. I kind of want to change into my comfy like PJ clothes while we set out at the fire. Josh, I see the fire. Okay. <laughs> Done this oh, you're doing that way. Whoa. Wait, what are you gonna do? Whoa. Like this? Thread the needle. Give it an IV. <laughs> Stop, that's sick. <laughs> Slow roasting. Or burnt dog. You've yeah. never had mayo on a hot dog? Never. That day. was so, I so almost, good. I almost <laughs> contemplated bringing out the cheddar cheese. Anybody have cheese on the hot dog? Mmm. Josh would like that. Boss? Go rinse it in our sink. <laughs> Just go rinse I it. I think I am. Will you grab my hydro flask out of the passenger door? Yeah. <laughs> Go rinse. And while you're in there, <laughs> if there's one thing about me, I love to ask someone to do a favor. I do too. Actually. Like, you know how people are kind of uncomfortable to be like, oh, I don't want to ask. I want to ask. Are you guys a rotisserie on your. Oh my God. <laughs> like, and that's no, it. I like get burnt. But mostly because I'm impatient. But also, I don't like when it's not done in the middle. So it's kind of a. It's a bad. Um, I just like mine absolutely perfect. <laughs> is that too much to ask? And you have the patience. Yeah. Josh is a good marshmallow roaster. This one's looking pretty so good. <laughs> Do not touch it. He's dog. so hot, isn't he? Don't go in. There. Don't go in. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Wow, that was the perfect s'more. I literally just spent like 20 minutes on that. So disappointing. I'm going to sacrifice it. Oh, yeah. And now the fire's going out, so who knows if I'll even be able to have a s'more at this point. That was exhausting. I don't know what is wrong with this thing because I've used one of these before where it just works, but I feel like I'm breaking my fingers off to use it and it takes 10 minutes to fill my bottle. It is ridiculous. I'm actually seeing stars. Josh just told me he spotted two huge moves. That was so cool. He literally was up on the hill and then came through our campground. Good thing to wake up to. Let's do a little van tour. When you open the van up, it's the main living area. The kitchen is equipped with literally everything you could need and these drawers pull out to have all of our silverware, bowls, plates, all of that. It has a mini fridge and it's actually pretty big. The bed is surprisingly so comfortable. It's super easy to put back. You just lift up this bench seat and then roll out the memory foam and all the bedding that comes with it. Josh and I have slept so good. If you're an unpacker like me, there's tons of storage. I put all of my toiletries up here on this one and then we have a bunch of clothes and they supply towels. There's even more storage back here, which has more of our stuff. And when we're going to sleep at night, I put like my phone, my Kindle, water bottle, all of that. It's kind of like a nightstand. This van has a pop top, which is really nice because you can actually stand in here. And with this down, it's another full bed up here. When we're driving, obviously I'm face forward, but when we're hanging out, I swivel. In the back of the van, they have a bunch of storage. This is where we're keeping our suitcases. On this side, there is a water hose to do a shower. So if it's not too chilly, you can shower off with that. And they supply it with a bunch of camping chairs, sleeping bags. They really cover everything you could need. Josh is on bacon duty. Coffee time. Oh, I just spilled on my burk. 
Thank you so much, Roger. <laughs> Welcome to our second full day. Breakfast this morning and waking up at that campsite was so nice. I feel like that was definitely my favorite so far, but it is so cold today. I have lots of layers for our first like technical hike. We're going to Jenny Lake and it looks like it's gonna be really cool and also really cold. The sun has not wanted to come out since we've been up here. So I'm layering up. I have my thermal layers underneath and then this like little matching set, a puffer jacket. Greta was my inspo today for doing the little braids. She's been doing like so many bows in her hair and I just wanted to have something that was a little bit cute. My hair is definitely getting to the point where I'm like, I could use a refresh. I could use a shower. So I'm hoping that we can find that tonight. But I'm finishing up my coffee, getting my layers on, and then we're so excited to go on our hike. We've been hiking now for maybe a mile and we've taken quite a few stops but it's so pretty that everywhere we stop at this looks so gorgeous so onward and hoping that it doesn't rain it's these hills they'll see I feel like a Lego right now from how I'm walking. And if you were to have a Lego, you would just go pink top, purple pants. This is it. Lego. Every day is awesome. <laughs> what is the Alvin Chipmunk song? I'm trying to think. Like the first time when they met him. Christmas, Christmas. This is about to be our longest drive yet. We're going from Jackson Hole down to Provo, Utah. And then we're gonna finish the drive to do Zion tomorrow but I can't do a car ride and have makeup on my face, so I'm gonna do a little face wash, and this is when it's really nice to be in a van because we just got done with dinner. We had some burgers, and now I can wash my face before we get on the road. I've got to find a shower, either tonight or tomorrow, but it's gotta happen. <laughs> oh, show us your drinks, boys. Nice. Crack a cold oh. one. <laughs> oh, that sounded different. <laughs> this drive is taking it out of me and I'm not even driving. Uh, we have three hours left and it's 9.30. Oh, three hours of a five hour drive. Yeah. I, I seriously haven't had a monster since I was cool. Are you this like reminiscing so now? I, I energized. Honestly, already, you look energized, unlike me. So 